Good morning from a little wild camping spot just north of Puerto Viejo on the eastern Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. So hopefully you watched yesterday's video over on the Banderson's channel. Get to see a little bit more of this place because today we're moving to another, we think, wild camping spot a little bit farther down on the coast or maybe there'll be some snorkeling. And I think we're gonna stop in this little town, get a little coffee on our way there. So, but we do have one thing to address before we leave. The Vandersons are pretty close to being stuck. So, we'll have to get those guys out before we can worry about hitting the road. Don't, for, don't forget, we got to fix the drawer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My bathroom drawer. I opened it the other day, guys, and everything <laughs> just came flying out of the bottom. So we got first thing this morning, van life maintenance. One nice thing about buying something that's already made, this is already made. Mm -hmm. The worst thing is you kind of got to deal with the quality of it. This yeah. is an issue. Yeah. We'll fix it. I think G is going to help with our little van life maintenance repair. At least he looks like he wants to. So for those of you who did not follow our van build series, Kurt built our van. 99.9% .9 of our van. These kitchen cabinets are actually two bathroom cabinets we bought from Lowe's. And we did bathroom cabinets so they would be skinnier and give us more room in the hallway. But Kurt did quite a bit of modifying to it, hooked them together and everything. But we definitely have an issue with my bathroom drawer. I opened it the other night <laughs> and everything came flying out of the bottom. So, Kurt's going to work on that a little bit this morning once he gets done brushing his teeth. Right, Curdy? Yeah, I'm taking care of it right now. There we go. I'm going to have a bathroom drawer again. So, it's kind of like a little bit cardboardy. And so it got a little wet. I'm sure it's a bathroom drawer. That makes sense. And the cardboard just ripped out through the staple. So I just put some bigger screws on here. So it'll hold for a bit. and probably have to be repaired again. I didn't replace it. But I think it's solid enough to hold for a while. All right. I actually think it's better than the original, to be honest with you. Probably so. Got the back doors open. Vanna likes to watch the outside. All right. It's time to leave this campsite. The Vandersons are not truly stuck. They pushed right out with Emily's strength. And we got a couple of errands to run, so let's do that and then get to our next campsite, guys. Let's do it. All right, we need some water. Let's go find the water, and we need to find a place to get rid of all the trash. Some locals told us today is trash day, so we can just leave it in one of these cages, and they said it'll all get picked up today, so oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Everybody's so nice here. They are very nice. The locals have been very friendly and welcoming and helpful. I... So a super nice local guy yesterday came by and said we were more than welcome to fill up with water, which is awesome. So this morning we drove down there to fill up with water. And we're almost done filling up the shower tank and our drinking fresh water tank. When he comes out and says, this water isn't potable. There's no potable water around here. So, uh, we're gonna test our filtration system. We put a couple of capfuls of bleach, I Googled it, we put the right amount. We have a system that will recirculate our entire water system through the tanks, through the pipes, through the filters, through the UV light. So, he did say that the owners of the hotel do drink the water. So, we've got four filters, right Kurt? Yeah, we've got the sediment filters and we got the UV light, the carbon filter. I'm 100% confident we're good. I'm 99.9% .9 confident we're good. But 
We're gonna circulate that water with a couple of capfuls of bleach in it for a good 30 minutes, make sure everything goes through the filter at least twice, and then we're gonna drink it, because that's what we gotta do. So, fan life water drama. <laughs> now we need a grocery store, not a big trip, just a little one. And we wanna get a cup of coffee at a coffee shop, hopefully on the beach this morning, in a little town called uh, Puerto Viejo. Viejo, Viejo. So that's the plan. Then a new campsite. One lane bridge, here we go. We found parking places. Here comes Kurt. We got a basketball game going on. And look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. We had a nice breakfast and some coffee and smoothies. We're headed to the grocery store. We already have water. And then we got our next campsite picked out. So let's go do it. So we just left Puerto Viejo the old port headed. We got to go about eight kilometers to where we're hoping we camp. It's down closer to Punta Uva on the Southern Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. There are a lot of cool little B and B's and hostels and little hotel type places along here. A nice little, I don't want to call it a hippie vibe, but relaxed, laid back Caribbean, a Caribbean vibe. And a lot, people ride their bicycles so maybe maybe we'll get those things pulled out we'll have to see what it looks like where we're headed oh this is surfing beach oh yeah surfing beach oh they got a surf tower yeah we're hoping that the campsite we have picked out if it works out will be a place for some snorkeling. But out yeah. there is definitely surfing. There's yeah. big waves right there. I bet Danny sees those waves. 
Yeah, he's kind of slowed down. He's a little distracted by it, no doubt. <laughs> They're behind of, us. We may of, lose Danny there. A lot of bicyclists through here, a lot of pedestrian traffic. So I da think we're down in the area where there's a lot of beach clubs and stuff like that. Yeah. It's definitely changed a little bit. It for sure, for sure has. Uh, but there's where we're headed. Punta Uva. Let's go see what it's like down there. Almost there, guys. Almost to our campsite. We think we have found our spot. We're scoping out the best place to park and where we want our views to face. But look at this, guys, look at this. We do have a family next door, but the trees kind of separate everything and they'll leave as the sun starts to go down for sure. They're settled. We're level. This is the final parking place. Kurt is coming with the rug. It's gonna be awesome. Danny's got it all smoothed out. Danny is quite the little off. We may never leave. All right, guys, I don't know if we can stay here. It's just terrible. <laughs> it's the worst campsite ever in the history of van life. I mean, there's pelicans diving, there's palm trees for shade. There's waves crashing and turquoise water and chairs. I don't know. Kurt and Danny are headed out to scope it out and see if it's snorkely. So we'll get a report when they come back. Sombrita, Emily, and me. Where am I? There I am. And me are holding down the fort. Somebody's got to do it. I keep saying that. <laughs> so I think their goal is they want to catch a fish and then I think they want to fry a whole fish like they get in the restaurants. We'll have to see how that turns out if it happens. We're definitely doing it outside. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have issued the coconut challenge to Danny and Kurt. Can they get a coconut out of one of these trees? Would they and... just shook her head, no way. And if they can get the coconut, can they open it with the machete? Ooh. It's a double-edged challenge. Let's see. Emily. I didn't get very far, but it's actually a lot scarier whenever you're trying to like not fall off the well, palm tree. And it's not like the slack rope no. from Momotepe. You don't fall in the water. Yeah. I think you did great. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could just Scoot up. Scoot up it. But if it's harder than it was hard. I'm gonna have to attack it with another giant. Alright. Well I think they've got the ladder. Oh. So it looks like they have accepted the coconut challenge. But there will be no tree shimmying or axe throwing. It looks like they're using a ladder. Oh my god! That is really, really high. I didn't expect it to be that high. Well, oh my gosh. Maybe we shouldn't have issued this <laughs> challenge. This looks a little bit more dangerous than I thought. It didn't look so tall. No, no, I just thought, oh, climb a coconut tree. Climb a coconut. He has made contact with the coconut. <laughs> 
but I don't know if he's gonna be able to get it down. Oh! Coconut! Fan life in Central America. Everyone needs a machete. It's the main tool you use. And now we're gonna use it to try to open up a coconut. Hey Kurt, where'd we get that machete? <laughs> Snow's brother and sister-in-law got it for us. For Christmas. For Christmas. When we told them we were gonna live in a van in Central America, they thought we would die. And we're but not. instead, we're making coconuts. Yeah, we're about to put it to good use. Is there a soft spot? There it is. There it is. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! We're just gonna, just gonna drink it out right there. Look at that! Nice job, guys. That was totally team effort. Kurt brought it home, but Danny started it. Emily hit the middle. So what are we gonna do with that? Uh, we're gonna scoop out the meat, we saved the juice, and we're gonna make some pina coladas later! Woo! Yeah! I think the coconut challenge was a huge success! Huge! Thank you, Kurt! Alright, so Snow has definitely found her happy place. Anyone who knows her knows she loves the water. And look at her out here. Bummed at all. Climbing up on the tree, she can't stand it. <laughs> and then Danny's in the background back there going off the snorkel. But this little Caribbean coast is gorgeous. And we're just having a fun time. We just ate a couple coconuts. It truly was the best coconut I ever had. I don't know if I've ever eaten it raw like that. And it was super good. Like a top five campsite right here. Could be top five of all times in the van campsite. Let's see how it turns out at the end, but right now it's doing pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, thanks so much. Oh, you got the little I did a little garnish. I did a little garnish. Yeah, perfect. There we go. All right. Wow, these look nice. Pina coladas. Are we gonna cheers? Like legit. If you pina like coladas. pina coladas, so, those are made with pineapple, fresh pineapple, literally fresh coconut meat, yeah. and coconut water, fresh, and four cubes of ice and some rum. Like complete natural pina coladas. We got a cheers? All right. Cheers. Wow. Is it good? Yeah. Well, yes. That's definitely the best pina colada I've ever had. <laughs> we finally got to decent internet, got everything downloaded we needed to, to fly our brand new drone, the new Mavic DS2 that we were able to buy because of all of our amazing people in the community that uh, wanted us to have a drone and sent us some drone fund donations through our PayPal account. We cannot thank you enough. Uh, we've got, we actually have two drones now because we had the amazing gift of the Mavic Mini that I got uh, shipped to my brother's house from one of you guys out there. So huge thanks for that too. So we have a little drone and a big drone. And this is the first inaugural flight of the DS2. So here's the footage guys, no pressure Kurt. <laughs> Is there a place with sun all year round? And
pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground. I want to stop this ongoing train before I lose my mind and go insane. I don't want to sleep every night. I want a lot of spark in the dark. I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place For another place oh. Maybe all we need is different was a success. I think we can all agree that this campsite is fabulous. The Vandersons have hung up a hammock. We had our nice, completely natural, completely fresh pina coladas. Now we're watching the fishermen catch some fish right in front of us. I think it's a good time to wind this episode down, but I think y'all should be sure to catch what happens tomorrow over on the Vandersons channel because that's where we'll be. Don't forget, we're doing a two-week series of everything it is like to live in a van and travel. You get to see the good, the bad, and the in-between. So we'll see y'all tomorrow over on Danny and Emily's channel. And with that, cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!